she's helping flatten the pieces so that I can easily use them later. So thoughtful of you. Greetings everyone, welcome to the live stream. I'm Brittany Duran from Punish Props and I am in our spare bedroom with my two helpers. We have Willow and we have Buddha Cat. On this episode, I'm going to be building something that hopefully a lot of you are also building along with. Bill's gun he did on a recent video. This is Malcolm Reynolds' pistol from Firefly. And uh, at the end of the video, Bill encouraged people to take the free blueprints he made available and make their own. So I am going to try and do that, but I'm going to give myself some limitations. I'm only going to be using a couple simple building materials. One of them is cardboard, if the cats let me use it. I also have a pile of cardstock paper. It's a little bit thicker printer paper. And I also have a bunch of basic tools that a starting prop maker might have. I've got my hot glue gun plugged in, got some hot glue sticks. I have some uh, Elmer's glue, some normal PVA glue. Uh, I have an ancient glue stick that I found. I don't know if it still works, but I got that. Got an X-Acto knife. I have these two guys in two different sizes. And I have a metal ruler. Bill made this gun using plastic and wood. And uh, I'm going to keep it around for a reference, but also I have these fancy blueprints that he made. Yeah, this, this I printed by um, just opening the PDF and when I hit print I chose to not resize it so it didn't try and scale it down or up or anything. And that looks, that looks like the right size. I'm also limiting myself by only using a small work area. So I'm in our spare bedroom, I'm not in the shop, that way I won't be tempted to use any of the fancy tools that we have down there and some other materials. Um, I did harvest a couple things. Um, I have some pens that have round parts on them. I might cut these up and use them for some of the round bits on the gun. We'll see how that works. Um, but I think I'm mainly going to be using cardboard. I have a couple different kinds of cardboard, some Amazon boxes, I have some thinner cardboard. I've only used cardboard board to make props before when I prototype armor pieces, so this is a new experience for me. Making props out of cardboard is totally a legit way to make things. That's sometimes what they use for the background props in movies. If they don't need to be right up close to the screen, it doesn't need to look clean and perfect. If, if this was an original design and I wanted to prototype the size and fit and everything, I could make it quickly out of cardboard before I make the final version. So this is a, it's a neat skill to learn, so I'm looking forward to it. Alright, let's get started. You're seriously the least helpful helpers ever. I need that. I need that cardboard. A lot of cardboard has two layers and then this wiggly bit that goes in between them to add structure and keep it nice and light. Uh, but because of this pattern, you'll see that there is these ridges on the cardboard. And I want to see if I can get that to work to my advantage when I have to make the barrel. I'm starting to score the pieces for the barrel. Um, I broke this into eight centimeters. I'm scoring down each centimeter and the prop tart suggested that I use a pen instead of a sharp blade to score in the lines and that does seem to be working pretty well. And this is going to go on the inside so it's not like it has to look pretty. And I want to bend these inward. They do want to follow the lines that I added which is great. I think this is going to be the coolest looking gun ever. For this I think I want to use hot glue. <laughs> Everything's cool. Willow just tried to jump on the table where the cutting mat was and did not realize that this is over the edge. <laughs> I swear they're not usually this crazy. I went ahead and cut out the little sight thingy and I just stacked some cardboard to use as a reference for it. I might end up using this for my final version or I might make it look more slanty like the actual one. Um, I just used some Elmer's glue. That seems to be holding pretty well. I'll let that dry. I've got my cardboard all scored for the barrel and I have a bigger cardboard octagon thing that is the part that attaches to the gun. So it's this and then this goes on top of that. I did cut this at a little bit of a bevel so hopefully the 
inside pieces we'll be touching. I'm going to lay some hot glue in here and attach them forever. I like the faceted look of that. This is interesting. It's kind of the way I would work with foam where you score the inside of it. With foam you kind of have to cut out a wedge of the foam in order for it to fold in on itself. But this all you have to do is really just score it with a ballpoint pen. I've got my barrel all put together and now I've started on the body of the gun. For this I cut out two layers of cardboard, left side and the right side, but I need to add thickness to it. So I cut out some thinner cardboard. This is just laminated layers of cardboard without the jaggedy stuff in the center. And this was from a Lego box. So it's shiny on one side and has a cardboard texture on the other. I don't think I want the shiny stuff on the outside. I know the acrylics won't cover that very well. So I want to stick with this kind of finish, this papery finish. So I want to glue that on the inside. I'm going to go with an inch thick and start gluing these together. There we go. I've got one side glued on and now I'm going to slot in this other side. I think I'm just going to pour a bunch of hot glue in there and, this, and just wiggle this into place. I'm also coming to terms with the idea that I'm not going to have this beveled too much, but when I get the whole shape together, maybe I will hack away some of this to make it a little more rounded, because these do have grips on it that are supposed to round over the edge. I'm not very confident in my building skills with cardboard yet to try and do those kind of angles, but we'll see. This cardboard is pretty forgiving. For this bottom piece, I pre-scored all the lines. I just kind of lined it up and then would add a score line, then crease it, kind of like mash it into place. And at least with the hot glue, if I get any kind of squeeze out, I can just peel it away. What are you doing down there? You just chilling? Just causing trouble? Oh, oh, I should have known. This part I want to be thinner than the rest of the gun, so I'm making a little piece that's going to go over here. I'm going to taper the edges in and then glue that in place. I'm going to glue this all together at once because I'm a crazy person. For these side pieces, I don't need to add any more thickness to it. So I am just going to use these. I cut them apart and traced on the details. And I'm going to etch in these details with my ballpoint pen to leave grooves here. I punched right through the holes of this with my pen and I'm just going to trace those out too. I'm just going to pour a bunch of hot glue on here. Why not? There. And that's attached. <laughs> that's super cool. My little goofy gun. I've started adding some details to the gun. I've got this little guy on the side cut out of the thinner cardboard. Same with this detail on the top. I'm working on these little raised up pieces that go on the side and this is another piece that needs to have a beveled edge on it. So this time I'm going to actually try and make it in the piece. I've got these two pieces cut out that are mirrored and I've been taking my ballpoint pen and carving in the lines where I want to add the creases. So now that I've got those carved in I can start to kind of force the shape that I want and I'll just glue that in place. It's nice with the cardboard I can slowly snip away little bits and adjust it until I get the shape I want. I played around with the handle for a bit trying to get a nice compound curve. What I ended up doing was removing the inside of the handle and I have this like mangled curved thin piece of cardboard. Uh, I have a dart down the center that I kind of ended up cutting away and moving this closer together and cutting more away. Just really prototyping it. Um, it right now it's just loosely held together with hot glue. Just from kind of playing around with the shape, I got one that I'm pretty happy with. So this will get glued down on top of that to give it more of a curve. So once I get this glued in place, I'm going to try and do the same thing for the back piece. There. That is better than before when it was a box. I tried to recreate some of the rounded sides on this handle and it looks a little better. I still 
feel like I have a lot left to learn with this material. One of the pieces I still have to add is a little tube. It's like a half tube that goes on either side of the gun. This guy right here. Um, instead of trying to do that out of cardboard, I have a pen that kind of looks like it's the right size. So I'm going to try and cut through the pen and then slice it down the middle and use half of it on either side. Ah, there it goes. Well, this is definitely not straight. I got half of my weird pen piece and I'm just gonna glue that down. Well, I sure learned a whole lot and I'm not as afraid of cardboard anymore. It has a lot of really interesting properties. Cardboard is used all the time in boxes and those are really sturdy. It didn't even occur to me that working with a material it would be just as structurally sound. In fact, I was having a fight against it to try and get the shapes I wanted. I definitely learned a lot when I tried to make the handle a little more rounded. It's something where I sh probably should have tried to do that the, when I first made the handle and not try and cut away and add pieces later, but that was a great learning experience. I encourage you to check out Bill's Firefly Gun video and get the free templates and build along with any materials you like. I saw some people are modeling and 3D printing the gun. I had a lot of fun building it out of cardboard. You can go Bill's method and use hard plastics and wood, or you can make it out of foam. The possibilities are endless. If you haven't built something before, cardboard is a great place to start. It is an affordable material. You can usually find it in the recycling bins. And hot glue is also something you can just pick up from the craft store. Any kind of knife works. Scissors actually cut it pretty well. And a ballpoint pen helps add all the details. Thank you for checking out this build, and I'll see you on the next live stream.